Hi guys, welcome to the energy update for Friday, January 19th, 2024. Friday's going to be weird. So we talked about how good the energy could possibly be on Thursday. If we really allow ourselves to let it be good, it could actually be good on Thursday. But Friday is going to be really weird. Um, so overnight, we have the Taurus moon trine, um, formed a trine with Mars and then doesn't connect with any planets until the conjunction with Uranus, which will be more midday. So we wake up to what we call a besieged moon. <laughs> and we've talked about this before. The besieged moon is when the moon connects with a malefic planet and then doesn't connect with, you know, after it connects with that, that's the energy we have for a while, right? Because it hasn't connected with anything else. So we have this besieged moon and it's going to be for a while. It's going to be for some hours, cranky Taurus moon, cranky Taurus moon. During that time, before this conjunction to Uranus, it'll be about midday for most of us. For some of you across the pond, it'll be more towards the evening. Um, we also have, during the day, we have Venus square Neptune. We still have Mercury trying Jupiter a little bit. Um, Mercury trying Jupiter was exact overnight, and so we're still sort of feeling that energy. But we also have Venus square Neptune, and Venus square Neptune is going to make things sleepy. That's just what these squares to Neptune do. Neptune sort of takes away um, from anything, and when we have a square, it's a challenge. And you know, Venus in Sagittarius, I'm at the point of exhaustion with this fire, with this fire um, uh, Venus sign. I'm just like, no more, no more. Um, we have a lot of earth energy going on, a lot, a lot, a lot of earth energy going on with this Taurus moon. And so it's, it's going, even on Thursday, you know, we talked about Mercury trying Jupiter on Thursday, but even on Thursday, moving into Friday, it's just sort of like this week is just dragging ass. And I hate to say it like that, but that's just sort of what it is. And Friday, you know, hopefully everybody has you know, some, they can, you know, take some time for themselves that evening. I don't really think that Friday feels like party time, but you know, if you want to go out and party, be careful because Neptune is involved there. You don't want to overdo it and go overboard. Um, a lot of times when we have like a, a Neptune transit, especially like on a day like this, where we're leading up to a Pluto, a major Pluto transit, People can karmically get themselves in trouble quite often because they're not, they're not in control, right? Like they're not in control of themselves. They're not in control of their willpower. They're not in control of things. So this is a really good opportunity for all of us to pay attention to if we're controlling, how we're controlling our own selves. So we have this moon conjunct um, Uranus. And then we'll also have a late night sextile to Venus. So, I mean, sorry, um, sextile moon to Neptune late night, like real late night. Um, so the moon energy for Friday is weird. The Venus square um, Neptune energy is a little bit weird. And then we also just have this Pluto energy coming up and excited to get into that one um, as well. So um, take really good care of yourselves for Friday in a really, really big way. Um, let's look at the sacred traveler, see what we've got for Friday's energy, the sacred traveler. We've got one embracing enthusiasm, shout to the heavens with happiness. Nice. Uh, I don't know how, like, I don't know if the energy is going to feel light on Friday, like honestly. And I don't know that anybody really fully understands and knows how it's going to feel. Um, I think that there's going to be a heaviness. So embracing enthusiasm, embracing joy, embracing play, you know, embracing the good parts of life. That's a really big thing for me these days. Like I am so tired of the crap of life. Like I'm just so tired of the crap. Like I just really am the anger and the jealousy and the pettiness and, you know, the animosity for things and like the not giving people a fucking break about stuff. Like it's just, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot that I've just seen lately. And, um, I just feel 
like it's we're all ready. We're all ready for this shift. And I think embracing enthusiasm, shouting out to the heavens with happiness, being joyful for the things that you have, this goes along with that gratitude that we talked about for Wednesday. So take really good care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Thank you for hanging out with me for another day. And I'll see you soon. Bye.